Hello everyone, we are going to play another game of what would you do if you only had a certain amount of ingredients left and a little bit of a cash bonus to make your food last for three days this time. Now before I get to that, I just want to quickly tell you that if you signed up for the Rakuten rebate program, you have 90 days from the time you sign up to make a purchase of $30 or more to get that $30 back. So you can basically get your item for free, but you have to do it within 90 days to actually get that money back. Okay, so now you are going to have a bonus of $5. And this is going to last you for three days. Now let's go over this food really quickly. We have a loaf of whole wheat bread and I decided to do bread because one of the person in my comments, actually a couple of people remarked this. They said, how come I never see bread in these challenges? Because bread is such a common thing to buy. And for those who don't buy it, they generally make it. So we have a loaf of whole wheat bread here and there are 22 servings, so 22 slices. So you can figure you'd be eating about, you know, seven slices a day. That's if you include the end, which some people don't like. And you have a bottle of mustard in the house. You have a cucumber. And you have a jar of jelly, jam, or marmalade. I happen to love orange marmalade, so that's what I've got here. Okay, so I'm going to give you three ideas for what I would do with this $5. So I love doing this. I love playing this game because I'm really into nutrition and shopping. So let's start with my ideas. Idea number one is I would get some cream cheese. Okay, now that's going to do double duty here. And that's, that's the thing with this game is you want to try to get ingredients that maybe could be relevant for more than one ingredient here so you can combine them but you don't have to do that so anyway i would do cream cheese <clears throat> and that would be for i would have the marmalade and cream cheese on toast for breakfast and i could do cream cheese and cucumber sandwiches for brunch or lunch now that would be about a dollar fifty in many places okay now i did get cream cheese from Aldi for 89 cents, but I know for most people that's not going to be a price they can get right now. But I have also seen it for $1.50, so we're going to say that's $1.50 of the $5. The next ingredient I would get is cheese. I would get about a half a pound of cheese. So this would be about, let's say $2.50. And I love monster cheese. One thing I love with monster cheese is mustard, like cheddar or monster or deli American cheese. Okay, so that is $4. And what would I do with the remaining dollar? No surprise here. I would get bananas for what I could get for the rest. So depending upon whether bananas around you are like 49 cents a pound or 69 cents a pound, I only put enough bananas here that would really um, be, you would be able to get for the rest of the money. Okay, so that is the first idea. Let's move on to the second idea of what I would do. Just get these out of the way. The second one, there is like less ingredients, but for those of you who have to have meat, like sometimes I just have to have the taste of meat, I have got a uh, one pound pack of turkey breast. So whether you can get an eight ounce pack, 12 ounce pack, or a pound, I allotted $3.50 to this. Obviously you have to go to a store where you can get like a one pound of meat for um, a relatively good price. So that takes up, let's see, over 60% of the budget. And what I would do for the other ingredient is I would use peanut butter. Okay, so then you get your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And with a turkey, you get turkey and mustard, and you can put some cucumber on that too, or eat the cucumber on the side. For sandwiches, turkey, mustard, cucumber sandwiches. Now, for the uh, last idea, I will show you here. This also offers a little bit of versatility. So I would get 
Let me just move these in ingredients out of the way here to make some room. We're still going to use these ingredients as our base, these, these four right here, okay? And so what I would do is I would get a dozen eggs for $2. Let's say that's $2, okay? And then I would get some beans. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do with these ingredients for my ideas. And I would get about half, half a pound of carrots. And I would get one pound of margarine. I just have one stick right here for example purposes. So I'm going to tell you what I would do here. And for those of you who've been watching my videos for a long time, you would, um, you would understand what I'm doing here. One of the things that I made in college as a meal that I actually really liked was uh, cooked pinto beans mixed with mustard eaten on toast. And I know that it might come from my like my Anglo side of the family that, um, you know, the beans on toast because I know that there's people in Britain that do that. So it could have come from that. But that's actually a good option here. All right, beans with mustard on toast. And I have another idea here, guys. Um, it's called jelly French toast. And I learned about this maybe 20 years ago. It's basically a jelly sandwich that you make and you dip it in an egg mixture. So what I would do is I would just, just like how I make scrambled eggs, I would, I make it with water. I would just mix the eggs with water and some maybe like nutmeg from the cabinet, scramble that up and dip the sandwich in that and then fry it in some margarine. Okay, so that would make up for breakfast and obviously um, there could be egg and cucumber sandwiches for lunch. You would maybe just put a little bit of more margarine spread on your sandwich in place of, you know, in place, in place of mayonnaise. I really like my mayonnaise. I know I say, <laughs> I say that a lot. I like my, I have to have my mayonnaise guys, but there's no mayonnaise here. So, okay, so those are my ideas for five dollars all right and for three days with only four ingredients on hand i would really like to know what are your ideas here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all these purchased items so that you remember exactly what we started with here the marmalade the mustard the cucumber and the bread. I tell you guys, there really is, there really are a lot of options even with a limited amount of money. Now the thing is with these challenges, I have always demonstrated that if you are willing to eat some of the same ingredients for a number of days in a row, you actually can afford to get some healthy items. Now, the item that I really like the least is margarine. I'm not really a fan of margarine, but in a money crunch, it is a good idea because it'll give you that frying ability, ability, you know, it'll give you like that, you know, the butter on toast kind of thing. And the other item I'm not really crazy about is lunch meat, even though I love the taste of it. There's nitrites and nitrates in it that are really good for your digestive system as far as I know. Don't quote me, I'm not a nutritionist. That's a story for another day. But uh, yeah, so, and then another thing is peanut butter is, is supposed to be healthy to you to an extent, but I do like to get natural peanut butter when I can because there are hydrogenated or uh, partially hydrogenated fats in peanut butter that aren't supposed to be as good for you don't quote me, but I still get it. I still eat it. I do try to limit things, but this video is to just give you a, some basic ideas. So tell me in the comments, guys, what would be, what you would do, what you would buy with the $5 and these four ingredients to last yourself for three days for one person. I will talk to you in the comments and I look forward to reading your ideas. Um, I noticed a lot of people in the comments, they say, hey, 
I love to read other people's comments because it gives me ideas too for stretching my own budget. So it's not just me here, it's all of you helping other people, helping other watchers. Okay guys, talk to you soon. Bye.